This tutorial is brought to you by MLDS Networks at www.mlds-networks.com, providing web hosting, consulting, and high-performance computing, websites, business processes, and anything technology related. In this case, we will be showing how to use Joomla menu system to control how content is displayed and to give workflows to be able to drive visitors of your website to certain portions of content. Menus in Joomla are very important. They will actually control how the content items you create are displayed to the user. Without menus, users cannot find your content, and if users can't find your content, your website looks pretty empty. Plus, your content takes an awful lot of work to create, and if you don't make it available to people, well, it's kind of pointless. In this case, we use an example of this website here, hosted by MLDS Networks, you can see we have a pretty large menu on the side here already. Each of these menu items take to a different either single content item or a listing of other content items. You'll see that some menu items, such as this spring sale one here, when I click on it, takes me to some information about the spring sale and shows me yet more content um, menu items underneath it. These are nested menu items and take you to mo yet more content in a very uncluttered way. So to be able to understand where all these are created, I've already logged into the Joomla backend. I click on the menu manager. You see here that on this website had four different menus. In this case, we we're only looking at the main menu. So main menu we see here has 14 items two of which are unpublished and we've been screwing with this website for a while so there's a bunch that are trashed. If I click on the menu items it'll pull up all of the menu items. As you can see here the nested items become pretty obvious very quickly because they will all be hierarchically below the first, con the first menu item. You notice that the spring sale menu item was a type of blog content category. So that is, it's going to show a listing of content from a specific category. So not a single content item, but all the content items from a given category. And it's going to be in a blog format, which is normally a title with a small amount of intro text. Its name is spring sale. And we select the category. In this case, it's from the section Spring Sale and the 2008 Spring Sale category. It is not a child of any other items, so we leave the top by default. And everything else is pretty much okay. All the options on the right-hand side describes how the content will be seen when a user clicks on, on that link. So notice, when I clicked on Spring Sale here, that I have one item that goes all the way across and I have more items that go all the way across. The reason for this is the leading intro and columns are all what takes part in it. All the items on the right hand side have tooltips so if you move your mouse over them it'll show you what um, it does. You can see here that there's one leading item. This is the number of items that will be displayed, that will be the full width. So, the first item will always be the full width across. Columns is the number of columns to display. So, in this case, columns is set to 1, so it's the same thing as having leading set to infinity, because we're only going to have one item wide across down the middle. If columns was set to 2 and leading was set to 1, the first item would be all the way across and the next two items would be side by side each getting half the width of the screen. You can see several other options here and a lot of them you can just set to the defaults of use global. Some of these you may wish to change. Let's go and actually create our own menu link. In this case, so it's much like adding new content. I click new. Here's where we select what type of menu link we're going to have. So notice the one we were looking at before was blog content category. As we see it has a tooltip, displays a page of content items for multiple categories in blog format. 
How about instead we get list we make a list of a section. So remember, sections, if you don't remember what difference between sections, categories, and items, please watch our Joomla introduction tutorial. So in this case, I'm going to select a list, next, and you give it a name. So it's going to be spring sale list. And you pick this section. Notice how they're not followed by any categories. So this list will contain all content items from all categories in a given section. Now I can select one, but if I hold, I can select one. Everything else is fine. I'm not going to make it a child of any others. I could make it a child of any other menu item, so it would not appear until someone clicked on that specific menu item. I can go ahead and hit save and back on the side if I refresh the page I have a spring sale list where I have the exact same content in list style but notice how there's only one if I go back spring sale list edit it I can modify on the right hand side the number to display. We'll leave that to you. So I no longer actually want that menu item. I just select it from the listing of menu items and I trash it. Notice how it's sent to the trash. It's sent to the Joomla trash manager so it's not actually gone. It just won't appear on your website. If you have a menu you're in the process of creating or do not want actually to have appear to people, you can select click the regular publish button. So for example the 2007 catalog, because it's out of date, is unpublished. So we clicked it so that it has this red X, so it's unpublished. You can use the regular ordering arrows to move items up and down to control the order they're going to display it on the, uh, on the menu. And you can also change the access. In this case, all of our links are public. We want everybody to be able to see these. But we could change it to registered or to any other special group we create inside Joomla. Those are all very advanced topics, so we won't cover them in any further detail. Again, menus are very important in Joomla. They describe how content will be displayed to your users. If you make a list, it'll be a very simple listing of all the content items. If you do blog style, it'll have the intro text from the beginning, from the first editor box when creating content, and none from the second. And it will only have several, as many as you t in the menu when you configure it that you want it to display. You can always change these later. There's also table types such that you can just have a table of just titles that users can then click on. The menu also controls how the items will be ordered. Will they be ordered in newest created, most recently modified, or just in the order um, of your choice? If you have any questions, you can send an email to admin at mlds-networks.com, and if you have a request for any other tutorials, send an email there also.